The moon from the dazzling full moon to its crescent form, a planet's only natural satellite orbiting at a distance of about 385,000 kilometers, has been an object of fascination from time immemorial. And now, the scientists say that the moon might actually be much older than what was previously thought. Our next one gets you the details. The moon is actually older. The moon didn't form at 4.3 billion years old, but it formed at minimum, and this is a minimum age, it could even be slightly older, it formed at minimum 4.51 billion years old. Throughout history, the moon has been one of the most fascinating objects in our night sky. For millennia, it has inspired myths, legends, and scientific curiosity. But despite everything we've learned about it, there's still one mystery that continues to puzzle us. How old is the moon? Recent discoveries may have just unlocked the answer, challenging everything we thought we knew about its age. For decades, scientists believed they had the answer, about 4.35 billion years old. But what if that's not the whole story? What if the moon is actually much older? Up to 200 million years older than we thought? The discovery of zircon crystals on the moon, dating back to 4.51 billion years, is challenging everything we know about our lunar neighbor. Today we're going to explore a surprising revelation that could rewrite the history of the moon. But first, let's take a step back and reconsider everything we thought we knew. This discovery might just change the way we look at our nearest neighbor in space. To understand why this discovery is so important, let's first revisit the theory that has shaped our understanding of the moon's origin for decades, the giant impact hypothesis. According to this theory, around 4.5 billion years ago, Earth collided with a smaller planet-sized body, often referred to as Theia. The force of the collision sent debris into orbit around the Earth, over time, this debris came together to form the moon. This impact was so powerful that it vaporized much of Theia and Earth's outer layers, creating a disk of debris around Earth. This debris eventually coalesced into the moon, and the isotopic similarities between lunar rocks and Earth's composition provided strong evidence to support the theory. The isotopes in lunar rocks brought back by Apollo astronauts matched Earth's composition, suggesting that the Moon and Earth were formed from the same material. Lunar rock samples from the Apollo missions, dated to be approximately 4 and 35 billion years old, confirmed this timeline and solidified the giant impact hypothesis as the leading explanation for the Moon's formation. But just when we thought we understood the Moon's origins, something unexpected happened. A new discovery has caused scientists to take a closer look at the age of the moon, and what they found might change everything. Recently, scientists discovered something startling. Zircon crystals on the moon that are much older than we thought. These tiny crystals found in lunar rocks have been dated to be up to 4.51 billion years old, almost 200 million years older than the age of the rocks previously used to determine the moon's formation. Now you might be wondering, why is this important? How can a few ancient crystals change our entire understanding of the moon's history? To answer that, let's take a moment to understand how these crystals work. Zircon crystals are like tiny time capsules. When they form, they trap uranium, but they don't trap lead. Over billions of years, uranium decays into lead at a known rate. By measuring the amount of uranium compared to lead, scientists can determine how old the crystal is. Because zircon crystals are incredibly resistant to heat, they can survive the intense conditions that other materials would not. That means they're perfect for dating ancient rocks, like those found on the moon. Zircon crystals are like the moon's personal record keepers, capturing the passage of time with incredible precision. And what these crystals are telling us is that the moon may have been around much earlier than we thought. This discovery challenges the giant impact hypothesis. If the moon is older than previously believed, it raises the question, did the moon form in the same way we thought, or could it have formed differently? So how do we make sense of this new evidence? If the moon is older than expected, does that mean it was formed alongside Earth, or is there another explanation? Next, we'll dive deeper into the mystery. Could the Moon and Earth have formed together from the same material? How might the Moon's resurfacing explain the age discrepancies? 
And what does this mean for our understanding of the early solar system? The answers might just surprise you. Stay tuned as we peel back the layers of this cosmic puzzle. First, let's address the big question. If the Moon is indeed much older than we thought, could it have formed alongside Earth, from the same material, instead of being the product of a violent collision? This new evidence challenges the idea that the Moon was created from debris after a planetary collision. If the Moon is older than previously believed, it suggests that Earth and the Moon could have shared a more intimate beginning, perhaps forming together from the same material cloud in the early solar system. This idea is known as the co-formation hypothesis. Instead of a dramatic impact, Earth and the Moon could have emerged from the same swirling disk of dust and gas, slowly coalescing over time. It's an intriguing possibility, but one that comes with its own set of questions. One major question that arises is, what about the differences between Earth and the Moon? If they formed from the same material, why is the Moon's surface made of less iron than Earth's? The giant impact hypothesis explains this by suggesting that Earth's collision with Theia caused the Moon to lose much of its heavier elements, including iron. However, if the Moon and Earth formed together, why would they have such different compositions? This is where things get complicated. Some researchers propose that, after the Moon's formation, it could have undergone a period of resurfacing, during which tidal forces from Earth caused its surface to melt and reform. This resurfacing event would have taken place around 100 to 200 million years after the Moon's initial formation and could explain the age discrepancy between the older zircon crystals and the younger lunar rocks. Essentially, the Moon could have been reshaped by tidal forces, like a molten canvas, before solidifying into the Moon we see today. Tidal forces, like those we see today between Earth and the Moon, could have been incredibly strong in the Moon's early history. Imagine Earth's gravity pulling on the Moon like a puppet on strings, causing it to stretch and squeeze. This constant strain could have generated enough heat to melt the Moon's surface, allowing it to reform and eventually solidify again. But this resurfacing theory doesn't just explain the age discrepancies. It could also help explain the lack of iron on the Moon's surface. As the Moon's surface melted, the heavier elements, like iron, may have sunk into the interior, leaving behind a crust that's lower in iron compared to Earth. This gives us a potential solution to one of the biggest puzzles of lunar geology. Think of it like a volcanic eruption. The lava, molten rock, rises to the surface. And as it cools, the heavier elements sink, leaving behind a lighter, solid crust. The Moon's early resurfacing could have worked in a similar way, reshaping its surface and leaving us with the Moon we see today. One with less iron than Earth but a fascinating geological history. So if the Moon didn't form from a giant impact but instead from the same material as Earth, what does this mean for our understanding of the solar system's formation? And how does this new theory impact the way we study other moons and planets? This shift in our understanding of the Moon's origins is not just about rewriting history, it has real-world implications for how we study other planetary bodies. If Earth and the Moon were both formed from the same material, it suggests that moons around other planets might have formed in a similar way. It also challenges scientists to reconsider the processes by which moons form, perhaps leading us to new ways of exploring moons beyond our own. Think about the search for life on exoplanets. If moons around other planets formed in the same way, we might need to rethink how we study their atmospheres, surfaces, and potential for life. A moon that's as old as Earth and potentially formed alongside it could give us clues about the early conditions of our own planet and the types of environments that may be found elsewhere in the universe. So, what's the final verdict? The new discovery of older zircon crystals on the moon has undoubtedly shaken up our understanding of its history. It suggests that the Moon may be older than we thought and that it could have formed alongside Earth, rather than as a result of a giant impact. 
The resurfacing theory helps explain the discrepancy between the age of the zircon crystals and the younger lunar rocks, offering a possible resolution to this mystery. The discovery challenges the giant impact hypothesis, pushing scientists to re-examine how the Moon and Earth were formed. But the mystery is far from solved. There's still much more to uncover about the Moon's history, and perhaps even more surprises waiting in the future. The questions raised by this discovery will undoubtedly shape the next chapter in lunar research and may provide new insights into the early solar system and beyond. As we continue to explore the moon and the vast expanse of space, one thing is certain. The more we learn, the more we realize how much there is still to discover. Stay tuned for future discoveries as we continue to uncover the secrets of our universe. If you enjoyed this journey through the mysteries of the moon, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest videos. Share this with fellow space enthusiasts, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think the next big discovery will be? Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time as we continue exploring the cosmos.